Hey, it's glazing day here in the shop. Uh, maybe five glazing days in a row. And one of the things I do throughout the glazing process is do a little bit of wax resist brush decoration. And perfectly timed, I just received three new brushes by a brush maker local to us, Joe Campbell. Um, we'll lead you to him if you go to our website. There's a little bit about Joe and his brushes and uh, follow that up to find his brushes. But I, I love these things. He sent me one. This one's a red squirrel and it's going to make a beautiful tight point. It's very soft. This one is groundhog tail. It's a little coarser but a fatter brush. And then this one he sent me as a floppy, very soft, white goat hair brush for slips or putting wide uh, brush strokes of glaze over glaze. Now I've had Joe's brushes for quite a few years and I use some of them for wax resist and I use some of them for on glaze decoration. And they all make a terrific line. So I've got these butter dishes that need to be waxed a little bit. Now I'm using a, a wax resist which I put about 20% water into and I'm going to let the wax dry on the pot once applied for about 30 minutes. If I can make it happen a little longer that'd be great but I need these pots to fill the kiln right now so the thing about glaze on glaze is you're looking at the positive shapes versus the negative shapes So this is going to be dipped in a second color. And I know from experience what they will do with each other. So now it's a matter of waiting for it to dry and doing the second dip. Anyway, if you're interested in some really nice brushes made of local bamboo, check out Joe Campbell's brushes.